Well, great. Hey, Faku, good to see you. How has your prior international experience, the Olympics, the world championships, how do you think that has prepared you for going into the, the, your first NBA playoffs? Uh, I think this NBA playoff is a little bit different than maybe EuroLeague or Spanish uh, playoff leagues, but uh, I think it, it does matter. Uh, also Olympic Games and uh, champ, uh, World Cup games. Uh, I think I will try to put my that experience uh, from my game to, to the team. So I think uh, it's helpful because uh, it's a kind of like similar games, uh, but also it's, it's all new for me. So I will try to put 100% out, like always. Katie Wingy, Altitude Sports. Hey, Faku, how are you feeling about it? I mean, obviously you've played on some really big stages, but you've never played in the NBA playoffs. So just walk me through some of your emotions and thoughts and have you been leaning on anybody to help? I, I've i been feeling like anxious, nervous. Uh, it's like a, it's a mix of emo emotions. Uh, last day I, I, I couldn't sleep that, uh, that well. But I think that is is, is good because uh, I, it's make me be focused to to, to the playoffs. So uh, I am used to feeling that this way for about because uh, the, my last playoff in in Europe and uh, in Spain in Spain. Uh, but I think that helped because it make me make me be more focused about what is coming now. Kyle Fredrickson, Denver Post. Hey, Faku, I wanted to ask you about one of your teammates, uh, you know, Paul Millsap, I know is a, a real leader in that locker room, just with all his NBA experience. But in what ways have you seen his leadership this season, you know, especially during a time where his role shifts from being a starter to someone who primarily comes off the bench? Uh, it's been a big, uh, he's been a, a big leader uh, inside the locker room, one of the most leader we have, uh, with also with Joe and Jamal. Uh, he, he has a lot of experience about this kind of game, about this league. So I think we, like as a young players, I'm a young player, uh, we have to learn about him, from him. Uh, so I think he make us more, he take more responsibility, you know, and that make us play more quiet. Christo Saltas. Hola, Fabu, ¿cómo estás? Muy bien. I would like to ask you, you mentioned oh. your experience. <laughs> you mentioned your experience in Europe uh, with Real Madrid in EuroLeague, the playoffs. So what was the best uh, playoff experience for you all those years with Real? And how's the motivation of you about the series against the Blazers? Uh, my best playoff in Europe, I will say like, against Panathinaikos in, in Greece. Uh, it's a, a wild arena, uh, wild fans, and they, they were like a, a great team. So we, we fight, we, we beat them 3-0. Uh, so that motivated us to the final four. Uh, and I would try to put my mentality like when I was in Real Madrid, you know, just uh, be focused, be there for the team, uh, practice as hard as I can, and I think that is going to be my mentality for this couple this month. Mike Singer, Denver Post. Hey, Faku, what are the keys to slowing down Damian Lillard, and what is it that you appreciate or respect about his game? I respect all his game. Uh, right now, he's playing a, it's a high level. Uh, I think it's not about one on one defense. He we, he need or we need a, a special defense on him. I think uh, we are not going to stop him just by one player. Uh, so we have to be aggressive on him uh, in defense and in off in, in, in offense uh, as well. Uh, but it's, obviously they have a, a, a large team. They they can score in, in different positions. They are so dangerous dangerous in, in different positions like CJ Powell. So we have to be. A focus for every player, obviously more with 
uh, Dame and CJ, uh, maybe, but I think we have to be uh, focused in every game and try to uh, guard him as hard as possible. Katie Wingy, Altitude Sports. Faku, a quick follow up on that because obviously you'll see some time on Damian Lillard one on one. If you could take away one thing from him, what would that be? The bad news for me is he don't have just one thing to 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 guard. You know, uh, he have he has so different way to score. Uh, I think he win confidence on his trees. Also, he have a big uh, percentage percentage average. Uh, in in two point lines also so uh, I don't know uh, he the normal thing he's gonna score uh, that's normal it's not normal he doesn't score so the, the the smarter thing for us is how which kind of uh, point are we going to give him you know uh, I think that is going to be the key for us all right that'll do it thank you Kuku. yes good job Kuku.